Hello everyone, this is John, back again with another instant ramen noodle review. This one I just got in the mail yesterday, and I'm very excited about it, so I decided I'm going to do this right away. I'm going to edit this right away, and I'll put it out right away. Um, I took a picture when I got it, I posted it on the Ramen Junkies Facebook page, and there was a, a, a bunch of people who were interested in seeing how this compares to the regular... Uh, cheese flavor, and this is the new Samyang Four Cheese Bulldog Okamin Ramyun. This is, uh, I think, only maybe a month old, and it's currently only available in these microwavable cups. Uh, though they do say when it first came out that the packs will be coming out in about a month. Uh, so. What are the four cheeses? You have cheddar, mozzarella, camembert, and gouda. Um, most people are familiar with mozzarella and cheddar. Uh, a little bit less with gouda. Gouda has like a, a mild nutty flavor, I would say. But I think a lot of people probably don't really know what camembert tastes like. So I looked it up, and according to the Wikipedia... Uh, one of the main flavor uh, compounds is uh, what's called diacetyl, which is a compound that's used in butter flavoring for microwavable popcorn. So Combear has that, like, buttery flavor to it. Um, it's kind of comparable to brie in texture as well. Uh, it's a soft cheese with, like, a harder white rind to it. Um... And Gouda has, like like I said, Gouda is like a, a nutty flavor, sometimes butterscotchy, lightly fudged with nuts, but very, very mild. And that's according to the Wikipedia for Gouda. Um, so, where did I find this? Uh, I'm going to put a link to it in the description. Um, right now, the only place that I could find this that would ship to the United States uh, was a website called Beauty Hara. B e a u t i, h a r a dot com. Um, it's mostly a Korean beauty supply website, but if you go into the collection tab and click the K foods, they have a small amount of Korean foods, mostly ramen. I got this one, and I also got a uh, another ramen that was looked interesting called Yom Rai De Wang, and it's supposed to be. What I think it is, is a competitor to uh, the Devil of Fire ramen that came out not too long ago. I guess in, in Korea, there there's a, a big popular thing where people do uh, mukbangs, where they eat a bunch of spicy noodles, and the Devil of Fire called itself the spiciest ramen in the world, so now this company, which I'm not sure if this is the actual company, Arum, A-R-U-M, but they came out with one that they're saying is even spicier than the Devil of Fire one. And when I Google translated it, it came out to something like the King, the Great King or something like that. The Fire King, the Great King. Um, I think they're competing. But the Beauty Hara also has other Samyangs. They have Carbo, they have regular cheese, they have the uh, Jajang, they have Otoji cheese, they have the Dukbaki. Um, they even have the cream carbo as well, and they have the uh, Devil of Fire in both the regular and the stir-fried version. I just bought some of the stir-fried version because I haven't had that yet. That'll be coming soon. But they also have the different sauces, some other noodles as well. It's a bunch of stuff that I haven't tried, but um, it's not a huge selection, but it's a good amount of stuff that isn't available anywhere else besides this weird... Korean beauty supply website. Anyway, uh, try to find as much information about this as I could. There is a Korean article that I had to Google Translate where an official from Samyang Food explained this as a cheese ingredient in the soup is added to create a chewy texture. It's not greasy, has a mild spicy taste, so even consumers who can't eat spicy food can enjoy it. So I think what they were trying to do is expand the bulldog into more 
less spicy. It doesn't say exactly the Scoville heat units anywhere on here that I've been able to see. So, I'm just going to tell you comparison-wise when I taste it, if it's hotter or spicier or less spicy than the other ones. Um, the only other interesting thing in the article they mentioned is how they're advertising it in Korea. Um, there's an actress, uh, her name is Siu Kwon Soon. Um, I guess she's a, a play actress, because they say she's in a play. Um, and in the commercials, she's playing like a parody version of the character she plays in the play. Is that's how kind of like I'm reading uh, how it, it goes. It says wittily parodied. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and try it out. See if I can detect cheddar, mozzarella, gouda, and camembert, and uh, see how it compares to others. Now, this bowl is microwave only. The instructions were to fill it up with water to like right here. There's a line like right there. Um, cook for two and a half minutes. Add a liquid sachet and a powder sachet. The liquid sachet was just like the regular red sauce that it comes with. Um, it tasted spicy. I still got a little bit on my hands. Um, the powder was just like a cheese powder. Looked a lot like the powder from the regular cheese. There's really no other like bits or pieces or flecks of any vegetables. It just looks like cheese on cheese. It smells uh, mildly cheesy. Let's go ahead and try it out. Would this be considered a cheese pole or a noodle pole? It's definitely still spicy. Like, when they said, like, they tried to make this less spicy... Uh, to provide a, an option for more people. Especially in the United States. I still think this level of spicy isn't going to like broaden the audience. It is noticeably less spicy though. When I first bit into it, the first thing you get is like a dairy, milky, creamy type of flavor. <clears throat> and the spice is uh, a, a low build. So it starts almost from nothing, and it kind of builds to like, oh yeah, I can recognize that spice. That's the Bulldog spice. I do get like a buttery flavor from this. So the Camembert, that buttery cheesiness, I can detect that as well. Now, I purposely didn't like drink anything or eat anything after this because one thing that my body naturally reacts to spice is hiccups. So, I haven't started yet. So, it, apparently, this isn't spicy enough to trigger uh, my normal hiccups that I get from spicy food. <clears throat> I'm not getting when I read cheddar was in this I was thinking there would be like some sharp cheesy flavors I'm not getting that as much I'm more getting those light flavors buttery slightly nutty creaminess from like the mozzarella maybe they're using like a a fresh cheddar something that doesn't have much age to it a mild cheddar
This would be a good intro to a Samyang flavor. Or someone who's like interested in Samyang but's very like afraid of the, the fire noodles. I'm getting a little bit of moisture around my nose and my upper forehead. But like it's really rushed right there. Not getting any kind of things around the back of my head. And again, still no hiccups. And I'm about to finish it. There you go. All gone. Just like ever so little bit of snottiness under the nose. Nothing that actually dripped out, but just kind of sitting there. Really not enough moisture on my forehead to need to wipe that off. So there you go, the Samyang four cheese boldock ramyun still has that classic chickeny spice flavor but the I would say the big difference between this and the OG cheese the OG cheese has more of a craft macaroni type of cheese flavor this has more of like a rich creamy, buttery, nutty kind of cheese flavor to it. There's no there's no sharpness to it. It doesn't taste like American cheese. It doesn't taste too cheddar-y. It's definitely a mild cheddar that I have in here. Because uh, there's no sharpness to it. I would say on the spice of all the other Samyang Bulldogs, probably around the same level as the light or as like hmm, a little bit lower than the the normal cheese now I haven't had the normal cheese in a while uh, the, the cheesy ones that I've had previously are the carbo and the cream carbo and those ones I think are still pretty spicy this one if it's not the lowest on the spice it is close to it. It's probably the bottom or the next to bottom when it comes to spice level. It's still spicy. So they haven't gotten rid of the spice. It's just, compared to the other Bulldogs, lower. There you go. Four cheese. Bulldog from Samyang Foods. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm not going to be doing the, the spiciest one right away. Uh, but I will be doing that. And then that'll be on the uh, channel at some point soon. But I uh, hope you enjoy this. I like to uh, always find these new Samyang Bulldogs as fast as I can. Um... Yeah, that's it. See you guys later. Bye.